My mom saw me the other day opening a bottle of wine. She's like, you're too good at that. Mm, you're drunk? Yeah, I believe that's what she means. She means I drink too much. Welcome to What Would Tom Do? Presented by Metro. This week. This week. The chefs had a vegetarian challenge. Tomorrow you'll head to the Santa Monica Farmer's Market. You'll create a six course progressive menu. The catch is you won't know what you'll have to work with until you go shopping tomorrow morning. They got to go to the farmer's market in Santa Monica, which is gorgeous. Uh, I love it. Every time I come to LA, the first place I go, my Me first too. stop. Everything I do, whenever I write a menu, it starts with vegetables. It starts yeah. with produce. Mm -hmm. So this is my mini Santa Monica farmer's it's market. It's gorgeous. I have my flavors and I have everything that I want, but what do I do with these? I'm looking at this and saying, this is my filling for annulotti. If you're gonna eat your veggies, you might as well mix it with pasta. So today we're making annulotti. It's stuffed with delicata squash. Okay. So let's get that going first. Do it, bang it, yes. Do you want me to scoop? Yeah, sure. Scoop those out. Yeah. You can put those right in this baking dish. Thank you. A little oil, salt and pepper on Olio, that. Olio, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. Yeah, that's hot. What I'm going to do with these Brussels sprouts, I just want the leaves. I'll do the leaves. When I make pasta, this is a simple recipe of one, one, one. One, one, one cup one. of flour, one egg, one teaspoon of water, one teaspoon of olive oil, a pinch of salt. This works for me. What do your boys like for pasta? Well, one's adventurous and the other one, uh... Not so much? Butter. <laughs> oh, I'm never mad at, like, a good butter and sage situation. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up doing that, because when I think Brussels sprouts, I think some of these other ingredients... Yeah. Brown butter. Oh. So we're gonna go with brown butter Is as well. Is this a mind melt, Tom? Thank you. Oh, kind of what I'm thinking. I like so that's it. it. We have our pasta. We put it in the refrigerator. Half an hour tops. Half an hour. Okay, so we do have... The squash. That oh, looks actually look really real good. Nice. They're soft, which is what we're looking for. The nice thing about the wood burning oven, too, is this is gonna be a little smoky. I wish you could have smell vision It smells really, really good. Ooh, wood, look so. at this. I'm excited about how soft that is. Okay, so now I'm gonna push the squash to the tammy so it makes a nice smooth, even puree. Is there an easier way to do this? No. <laughs> Butter, what are you doing now? Let's Keep me brown, posted. Let's brown butter. Brown butter, okay. What can I do for you? You know what you can do? Yes. Grab that KitchenAid mixer over there with the pasta attachment. The super heavy? Yeah, that yeah, one. that one, yeah. Come oh, yeah. on, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like a comedy routine of making me carry the heaviest thing in the kitchen over to you. Dude, get out of my way. What's going over there? It's on top of that, it's okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, that was awesome. Tom, that attachment is the bomb. KitchenAid. Yeah, yeah, it works. Do you know the word insouciant? Insouciant? Insouciant in French. That's you. That's me? Yeah. Insouciant means devil may care. Je ne sais quoi. Okay. This what is I like beautiful. to do here for the annulotti, I just go. So this was just the squash, nothing else. It's in just there. squash. Yeah. Salt, pepper, squash, olive oil. Super pure. Well, what's up? What I like to do is, you know, a tiny bit of water. You roll it over again. Uh-huh. Now, to seal this, yeah. take your fingers uh -huh. and go here to here. Uh-huh. Here to here. Uh-huh. And then we go like this. Okay, that's awesome. And then cool. all you do is go here. Uh -huh. I just pinch them a little bit. Pinch them? I like to just push them in a little bit, because that little, little nook right there, that holds the sauce. I'm also going to use leeks for the dish. Probably enough. The fennel, we want to save that right there, those uh -huh. feathery pieces, for garnish. Beautiful. Now our fennel. Lovely. Now, pasta goes in the water? Pasta goes in the water. Now, I don't want this rapid boil because you don't want it to explode. Okay. Saute some chanterelles. Okay. Here's the thing when you cook mushrooms, yeah. you have to have a lot of surface area in between the mushrooms. So you can't crowd them. So you want to do them in batches, just like yes. that. Yes. I just blanch the okay. vegetables. Yep. Smells amazing, Tom. That looks very pretty. Did you want to fry that sage real quick? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do we do it in the deep fryer? Yeah, go ahead. No one has ever trusted me with a deep fryer. Should this be the first time? Stand back. Stand back. OK, here we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> OK. I need one of these at home ASAP. <laughs> I think we're good.
So I took the brown butter, and what I did is I put a little bit of the parsley in it, and it foamed up. Ow. Oh. Making it rain, Tom. Making it rain. Good amount of cracked pepper. Mm-hmm. A little bit of fried sage. And of course, to echo that fennel, where you can take a little bit of the fennel. We're echoing it. 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 So that, yeah. That's it. It's pretty good. The crunchiness of the sage and the brown butter and the chanterelle. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's real good. Now, this is really, really, really nice. And that's what I would do.